In the summer of 1988-89 in the Utopia region of Central Australia, a project was initiated that was to revolutionise the course of Australian art. After 10 years of innovative batik making, the women artists of Utopia painted on canvas for the first time. Outstanding were paintings by the then 70-year-old Emily Kame Mungurai. Although Emily was only one of dozens of earlier Utopia artists whose work made impact, it was largely due to the huge response to her lyrical and increasingly bold imagery that Aboriginal art came to be regarded as a contemporary rather than an ethnographic art form. Ungurai is still the highest priced female Australian artist overall in the auction market. Her 1994 painting, Earth's Creation, twice set auction records for Aboriginal art by selling for $1 million and $2 million respectively. Her work has been the subject of major national and international retrospectives and her legacy continues to grow. Following Ungurai's death in 1996, other women artists came to the fore. Significant of these was the groundbreaking, award-winning painter Gloria Pajara, who with her sisters was a major force in continuing the presence of Utopia women's art in capital cities. Like Emily, another important founding artist, Mini Puller, started painting in her late 70s in 2000, with works depicting women's body designs in free gestural imagery. Paintings by the senior artist Polly Nyala featured the bush plum in layer upon layer of dots to create rich fields of glowing colour. In Next Gen Utopia we pay tribute to these founding artists and explore the work of 14 of their descendants, each of whom grew up surrounded by the art of their famous forebears and who now create dynamic culturally rich paintings in distinctive and individual styles. Polly Nyala's immediate family include her daughter Bessie Pajara and her granddaughters Belinda and Janet Golda Ungurai. Bessie and Belinda's work feature the bush plum. Once prolific throughout Central Australia, the juicy flesh of the small fruit is packed with vitamin C. The women of Utopia conduct ceremonies in tribute to the bush plum and other fruits and to ensure their continued growth. Bessie Pajara's works with their more defined and highly coloured dots are similar in style to those of Emily Kame Ungurai. The younger Belinda Golda loads her brush more heavily to build up layers and layers of glowing colours in works reminiscent of those of her grandmother Polly and especially of Emily's Awulya or ceremony paintings that depict the differing colours of the seasons. Her older sister Janet creates unique works that represent a number of women's stories of her utopia country. Utopia is not one century community but rather a collection of small homeland settlements established next to underground water bores and across a vast area. It is this which has led to artists from different parts of Utopia developing their distinctly different styles. Janet pays tribute to these different styles in her encyclopedic paintings called My Country. The late artist Gloria Pajara began a stylistic movement that continues until this day as seen in the work of her granddaughter Esther Haywood. In 1999, Pajara was one of the first Aboriginal artists to win a major award at an East Coast public gallery when she won the Wynn Prize for Landscape Painting at the Art Gallery of New South Wales with her multi-panel work, Leaves. Pajara's studies of native plant leaves from her country were her enduring subject matter for the rest of her life. Symbolising the significance of plants as bush medicine in her role as a traditional healer, as a provider of life-giving sustenance and as creation ancestors. The leaves movement across the canvas recalls the movement of plants on country and other striking visual effects of nature. Pajada's granddaughter Esther Haywood continues this tradition, handling the skill of painterly movement as dexterously as Pajada did and continuing her significant work also as a colorist, one of the Utopia School's most famous aspects. Minnie Puller became well known for her striking paintings of Awelia, women's ceremonial body paint from her country, Anyanapa. Her work symbolised the Puller clan body paint design, painted onto women by one another for rich increase ceremonies, where the land and its natural beings are celebrated in dance and song cycles. Minnie's sister, Emily Puller, and her granddaughter, Charmaine Puller, continue this tradition, each bringing their own energy and dynamism to the Awelia Puller clan design. Charmaine's older sister, Teresa, however, illustrates another famous utopia aspect, its independence. She works in her own unique style, which is a distinctly visually different interpretation of the same Anyanapa landscape. 
Now more than 30 years since the project that introduced Utopia Women Painters to the world, the Utopia School has grown into a huge and diverse art movement. Senior artist Jeannie Mills Puller has become well known for her lush yam dreaming paintings in which she loads the same brush with a mix of cleverly combined colours. Younger artists Bernadine Kamara and Carolyn Petrick Ungurai continue the tradition of bush medicine and seed dreaming paintings in new and distinctive styles. While Ada Puller Beasley, Selena Tees Puller and Natalie Puller Holmes create luminous landscapes that depict the scale as well as detail of their beautiful lands. At the heart of these fresh new styles is a legacy of the artists, the grandmothers and mothers, whose paintings these younger artists knew intimately from a very young age and whose artistic talents they have absorbed and pay subtle reference to in their exciting and ever-evolving art.